Hey everyone, welcome back. So, <laughs> I'm going to name this video the hardest decoder I've ever had to fit. Now, you can see I've got new edition, got it really cheap, really cheap. <laughs> um, this is not the seller's doing, this is actually my doing. I've tried to put a decoder in and I've struggled. It's took me, I'm not lying, I messaged Clive at Newland, I messaged him at 12.16, I believe, yesterday, at 18, I think 36 or something. I messaged him again and said that I've fitted the decoder and what a bloody pain in the backside it was. But we'll come on to it. You know, shortly it's uh, it really is a nice looking. Hopefully, I can just, just give you a better look. Now, the the loco itself is it's a beautiful loco, and I've just put it on track, and uh, I'm gonna have to do <laughs> gonna have to take it apart again. Uh, the decoder's in here, but it actually sits underneath the underneath the motor um i, I can it, the motor's actually quite noisy uh, i think it's because the way i've laid the decoder because it's got it's a small decoder but it's obviously got the wires and i think that's interfering with the the mechanisms and um yeah it really was you know forget my physical situation this is more of a technical situation it's been really a problem. I'll put it on track in a minute. I just it's a two ten O locomotive. I don't know much about steam, but I wanted a DRG. It's a BR class forty four. Um, yeah, a freight locomotive, but it's really nicely, you know, the the, the cold, all the all the details. Just beautiful, and oh, I got it really cheap, really cheap. So I'm going to, in literally in a couple of minutes, I'm going to put it on track. Just got a few things to show you because I've come up with a plan. Uh, if you just let me turn the camera or if the camera will let me turn you. Uh, I'm just going to face this way. So not a great deal that's changed on here. I have put some, hopefully let me just get my little tweezers because it's easier than getting my stumps in the way you know but I wanted to do something obviously to incorporate the the apocalypse train and I've come up with an idea I think it's a really good plan I'm really excited about doing it but I'll put some here some speakers and I'm just starting to work on the on the on the finer details now so I'm going to show you a few bits. Free of, feel free to guess. Um, it's, I think it's a good plan. Uh, I really think I'm going to, in a couple of weeks, hopefully get a board made up. So I'm going to bring out the first wagon. Let me just move this out the way. So it's not in view. So we've got... Wagon number one. You say, is that an N-gauge wagon? No, it's a 009 wagon. It's a flat or well wagon. I've not put what I want to put here because it'll give you too much of a clue straight away and you'll guess straight away. But I, it was a kit. So I built this um, a day ago. I've just started, obviously, a little bit of painting and obviously put the stuff on that I want to put on, which I've got, but I just, uh, I don't want to give you too much of a clue at the beginnings. So that's the first wagon. And then we have picked up a 09 gauge, one of those type things. 
and again another kit let me just move that a little bit out of the way with obviously i've got a motor to come for this which is on its way and i've got to paint it and obviously finish building it but i've been focusing on this loco so that will go with that and i know <laughs> i'm going to tell you what it isn't it's not a wildlife park where the train runs through different enclosures and I had thought about it but I wanted to include the Apocalypse train so that will be included it'll be a 009 gauge running around I'm just trying not to give you too many clues to be honest because I don't want to make it too easy straight away you know but uh, I'm really excited about building it and yeah if you feel Feel free to guess. Like I said, I've got a number of videos coming up and the clues will get easier and easier, but I'm sure, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sure someone will be able to guess it straight away. So I'm just gonna put you on pause and I'll put this class 44 on track. Uh, you can see it's running, it's a little bit on the noisy side. I, I think it's the decoder. Just gonna, because the motor's trying to turn, I, I don't think it's sitting quite on the, you know, on the gears properly. So I'm gonna have to take it all apart. What a pain in the backside. So I just wanted to show you inside. I'm getting a bit of a dab hand at doing this now. Um, so I had the decoder in with the wires. I think that was causing the problem. So I've put in a one that's a bit, hopefully a bit lower. So I'm going to try and sit the motor back on, put it all together and we'll give it a, a look see. Eh? So what I'm going to have to do the only bit is seems to be sitting a little a lot better the motor onto the gears but i need to get that clip over and i'm struggling so uh i'm gonna have to figure something out and um yeah hopefully get it running but it is sitting a lot better so hopefully i can put it together and actually get it working properly so stay tuned and I'll update you in the future. Thanks for watching. See you next time. And don't forget to guess. What's those 009 wagons and trains going to be have to do with this apocalypse train? Put your answer in the comments if you know. More clues coming next time. Bye for now.